All right, okay, and, and our final act tonight is Amani Sims. Woo! Yeah. She is a curator, alchemist, and author. She believes in the healing power of ritual, performance art, and the power of words. She's the curator of Kitchen Sessions, a running show series in collaboration with the Cultural District Forum for the Arts, Bellevue Art Museum, Seattle Art Museum, and the Theater Off Jackson. Her, her goal, sorry, I'm bad at handwriting. Her goal is to continue to shift the societal narratives by providing artists of color with resources that empower and display their stories in public spaces all over the nation. Her book, Alive Heart, first thing over there, is available through Sibling Rivalry Press. When she isn't working, you can find her on her couch with a chilled glass of rosé. Please welcome Imani. Poets and their needs. <laughs> All right, uh, hi. Thank you so much to Clarice Salon for having me tonight. I'm super excited to bring you on my black ass poems. It's going to be an interesting close. Um, okay, so I believe in audience participation, okay? So I'm going to say we going to be all right, and you're going to say that back to me. So let's practice. We going to be all right. We going to be all right. Excellent. So anytime I say that, I'm just going to gesture, and you're just going to shout that back to me during this poem, yeah? Yeah. yeah. In 2015, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar released All Right. It became an instant nigga anthem reanimating the souls of black folks tethered to American reality. Four years later, lights up, scene. Femme crosses the street alone. And she is not in a dress, nor do corners shout, hey, ma, what's up? And expect her red rimmed grin. She does not question sneakered step, each curve unapologetically black. Potion around her neck, cowering within herself, is reserved for bathtub sagas and champagne. She asks her therapist if survival feels this weighted in her chest for lack of joy's definition. Femme enters her favorite bar, orders angels envy on the rocks, her ass spilling over bar stool as she sips, daydreams of unprovoked smiles echoing between her cheekbones. 72 degrees in open, she asks, is this all right? Are we going to be all right? We going to be all right. Enter, stage left. Felicia wakes up happy. After two extra shifts, she is finally able to afford tickets to see the legend. Anita. <laughs> Felicia finds spandex sequins to adorn her black girl body all hotatious and subtle grandeur. She sings every song and dances in the aisle when Anita talks of sweet love, but Felicia Ain't seen sweet or love in years, but she's still grinding for 70% checks and little sleep. Mm. Felicia knows an ache ain't never escaped ship or hole or stage or mouth or any form of mourn absent of black. See, she's smiling. Woke. But this pain brings tears deep as oceans and bourbon as time. There is no escape, Felicia. This is your burden. Birth a nation on your back and push toddlers to be men without metal, without guns. Birth a nation between your thighs and still come up with death. Birth a nation still. See, Felicia discovered a body in her hollowed out chest. She dangled just above rib 13, a curse raven black, gold eyes interrupted face, sunken cheeks swallowed with a stretch of skin against bone. She was pretty once. Deep lapis gown trailed past her feet. Felicia's inhale rustles the edges calls attention to her limp weight. She hasn't moved in months, just stares into the bottom of Felicia's stud. Wishes stomach butterfly full so she can dance. Once again, even Marlon James knew ourselves would never be enough due to an act of self-preservation on the part of the British in teaching blacks servant English. No, this is not all right. Every time I open, a black girl two pigtails scurries out. Bee lines across tongue leading tobacco leaves in her way. Tufts heel stuck cotton pad her run. Escape is all we know. Canvas shift catches wind. 
a pause as a curtsy falls, she is gone, black as she want. Cut back to the bar. Felicia or I or pigtailed Adelaide survived in underworld turn 21. She gonna be all right. Black girl, she beautiful. She sit in a booth all by herself. Take up so much space, the white man gaze like, she got nerve, and she does. So she sits and gnaws at the crunch of fried yam and sips through as dark as she is. Like confirmation, her black ain't never too much space to swallow. See, she every bit glorious. Read, unapologetic. She every bit afro against this white ass mistake of a man. She grace slipped like oil. Sometimes it be whitey's weakness. More money between her thighs than his privileged resistance and read white man can't jump. Unless it's a black grandmother's breast to suckle. So she rock her cleavage for them to see lack of price tag. Black girl beautifully alone sips brew as dark as she is like confirmation her black ain't never gonna be too much space to swallow. Cause black girl, beautiful as the encased powder finish of cobalt on eyelids and let the witnesses come. She's the last sequin stitched under armpit for ultimate shimmer and let the witnesses come. She's the high note Beyonce sung through yes queen <laughs> lips and let the witnesses come. She is the sliver of light kicked to corners with every stiletto click and let the witnesses come. And when she don't get bit by the dancing queen bug what is left of her queerness. Just glitter, just cunt. Too many derogatory slurs to learn the sacred act of shedding skin on dance floor. She becomes the silence in bathroom lines and corners, disco lights and spinning silver. She is the moment we take for granted because all anyone wants to remember is the twirl and cocked ricks of red stained lips hugged deliciously close to thumb worship. I forgot to say, I'm a lot, so take care of yourselves as I give you all my black ass poems. Yeah, I'm a lot for my own goddamn self, so. You're in the right show. <laughs> all right, I've got a couple more. Um, the few things um, that I, I do, I guess, yes, um, is a lot of these poems came out of my body as I write a poem a day. And, then I string them together when I have, a, I have a show, and I'm like, oh, that looks good together. Oh, let's put that together. So all of this is lots of poems <coughs> strung together in time to create some sort of time warp. Anyway, <clears throat> bass lines and sticky bodies reassure us all right is three-letter words turned divinity. Some of us find God upside swing of split on metal pole applauded. Some of us discover holy disco light eyeshadow on dance floor, forget rhythmic. Some of us hail Mary's cunt with tongue so liquid we become God. Some of us break body under leather whip, split softness for nurture and trust. Some of us find worship or deity or tingle so profound to claim spirit. Worship or deity or tingle, some of us never find softness for nurture and trust. Under leather whip, split, some of us break body liquid, we become God. Cunt with tongue, so some of us hail Mary's dance floor, forget rhythmic. Disco lit eyeshadow on. Some of us discover holy on metal pole applauded, upside swing of split, and some of us, we find God. And she has the subtle chime of her hips, singing cowrie show hollow, all fuck the police and these lungs. Got more breath than every raven who ever sung death over a black body. She is reaper of sea, bringing diaspora bones back to the crossing. Offering unbroken to Alegua to open gate back to salted waters where ancestors chose death before colonies of blood and stolen land. This is not home, so she harvests us back into womb. When Diddy speaks, I will be an artifact trapped behind glass. In the blackest, gayest museum they can find because my life echoed a narrative that wanted white ears to know it was here and call it preservation. Femme magic, having been photographed, obtained, and exploited by male gaze, will stare back in defiance and dare anyone to erase the sun perched between my thighs. 
The sky catches my low hum rattling at moon once the sun burns out. Unhinged ribs will string themselves back together in the shape of an open mouth, devouring each star until rendered black. So yes, we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. All right. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you on a happier note. <laughs> okay, uh, sh sure. I guess this is happy ish. <laughs> I do this poem whenever I've like exhausted my emotional energy, and I'm like, well, this poem at least makes me laugh a little. <laughs> this is five things I'm almost too embarrassed to admit. Nice. One, I gave up on Prince Charming, the dragon, the good witch, her wand, and home long before I gave up on love. There is no land and no fairy tale, no myth large enough to hold my story to. I have only ever loved two women long enough to cradle them and hard enough for them to break my heart. Though I'll never be the same after carving space in my heart for them, I know the same is true, a fallen tree and a canoe. Three, I fart. <laughs> in bed, when no one else is there. Blankets pulled all the way up to chin because this is the only place I stop worrying. I shake the improbable tales I spin and rest in the reaction of milk and cheese combined with macaroni on my body here. I do not apologize for the things my body wants. I only indulge for. I eat red vines in the same bed that I farted. <laughs> I do this when I can't sleep, because the twisted red lines remind me of unpredictable turns in life's journey, and I can devour those hard roads without too much thought. Five, I'm a quintuple Aquarius, so I never, ever forget to check out, as it has always been easier to escape rather than to stay. Thank you all so much. socials. Uh, my book is here. Um, I have a Patreon. If you just Google Imani Sims, it'll pop up at some point. Um, Instagram, at IR Sims. I don't know. Radar? Oh, I, I'm managing director for a company called Radar Productions, which is a QTPOC literary arts organization, so holler at us. <laughs> 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 